This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now we're going to take a look at an introduction to the concept of server migration. Just getting an understanding as to what we're talking about because it really is the process of moving data and settings from one server to another. Uh, usually this is performed you know, after we've already upgraded a, an environment to Active Directory to the new versions of Windows servers. And so we're taking then our file servers and our print servers and we're migrating settings over. Our application servers may need to be migrated uh, as well. You know, we can upgrade the network or the Active Directory environment and demote all the servers, but that generally doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, symbolize the end of the migration and the deployment process. Now, that's just for Active Directory. You know, we can completely upgrade that environment and still have member servers performing certain functions running the older versions of Windows. Ultimately, in the deployment of the new operating system, I want everything to be moved over. Again, Microsoft offers some server migration tools that will greatly assist us in this process. And so we'll take a look at using those specific tools that are specific, I should say, to file and print services. And so this will just be a, a, an introduction, and then we will begin to go through the actual migration of file and print servers. But let's start with gaining an understanding of the concept of server migration. 